just one week after calls for Green Bay's mayor to resign. An update tonight. The Green Bay City Council introduced a resolution that would serve as support for the way Green Bay held the November election. NBC26's Ben Boken has been following tonight's debate. Elders, 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 elders. Let's minimize. Let's, let's please. It's a topic that has even Green Bay officials divided. Are you kidding? You're out of line. You are completely out of line to hear from the public for two minutes at a time. Too many untruths have been said and written to begin to count. And the wanton disregard for facts displayed by people who should know better has been shocking. But I guess that's the state of our politics. The Green Bay Common Council brought forth a resolution that aims to support the city's safe handling and accuracy of the 2020 elections it held in August and November. This comes one week after Republican lawmakers reissued a call for Green Bay Mayor Eric Genrich's resignation. Now, nothing of human creation is perfect, but our election was pretty darn close. Republican Senator Roger Roth of Appleton claims the mayor used an outside consultant and grant funding to sway the presidential election. It seems to us that the mayor of Green Bay turned over to an outside partisan group backed by Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, turned over keys to the facility where they brought the ballots on election day to be counted after the election. They were able to buy access for $1.6 million. That ought to concern everybody. But Democratic State Representative Christina Sheldon of Green Bay disagrees. If you saw something that was concerning, you should report it. But then that needs to go through the process of determining if a law was broken. And we have just not seen any evidence of that at all. Some Republican lawmakers say a series of emails proves an outside consultant had too much access to ballots. There are some serious questions that need to be answered in Green Bay, some serious irregularities in some unethical behavior. That's why I continue to renew my call for Mayor Genrich and his former chief of staff, Celestine Jeffries, to resign. But Democrats like Shelton reaffirm Genrich's handling of the election. The Green Bay mayor still says the November election was, quote, a beautiful thing. Wisconsin has some of the most stringent election law and electoral processes in the country. I have not seen any evidence at this time of any wrongdoing based on election law. In Green Bay, Ben Boken, NBC 26.